All right, let's get started with implementing our collection view, our IG list collection view on this project. I've already installed our pod file. Um, so you're gonna want to do that. I've provided below a lot of links and instructions to get that done, but I won't take the time now to do it again because I've done it so many times. But as you see, my pod file here in this project has IG list kit and you'll need to actually go ahead and do that part first uh, before continuing. So I'm just going to jump into my view controller and of course import IG list kit. All right, so now that I've imported IG list kit, I need to create an adapter now. Okay, so I'm just going to say lazy var because we only want it when we need it. And we're creating an adapter, and this is, like I said, going to allow for our um, section controllers to be in charge of themselves. So I'm just going to return a list adapter. All right, and my list adapting list updating delegate is going to be list adapter updater there we go and then our view controller is going to be ourselves so we're going to control everything from here i'm just going to close this block off all right so only thing i've done here is just add this adapter the next thing i want to do is I want to go ahead and set up our collection view. So we actually need a collection view and I'm gonna do that in the storyboard. So I'm gonna hop over here to the main storyboard, type collection view. Just, just gonna drop this in here, all right? And just pin this down all around to this. And I'm just gonna get rid of that cell. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and turn this background color for this black. So that looks pretty good. All right, so now that I've done that, I wanna go ahead and get a link to this. So I'm just going to get this set up. All right, so let me just close some of this other stuff. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to switch this to automatic it's going to be my view controller and I'm just going to drag this into this view controller. I'm going to call it collection view. All right, so now we have access to our collection view and we have our adapter set up. So let's go ahead and give our adapter control of this collection view. So I'm going to say adapter dot the collection view is gonna be equal to our collection view, the one that we just dragged in here. And then I need to set the data source, dot data source equal to self. Now, I'm not gonna be able to do this because the program doesn't know that uh, this should be a data source for itself. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this here. So list adapter data source. All right, so now we can be its own data source because it's going to be um, grabbing everything that it needs in order to do that. And it doesn't conform to protocol. So let's go ahead and just figure out what we need in here. So I just command clicked on this and here it's going to show us all of the, I can probably stretch this out just a little bit more. Show us what we're gonna need. We're gonna need these functions, so I'm just gonna grab them all. Go back to our view controller, close this up. And then right here at the bottom, I'm just gonna copy and paste this and just get rid of some of these comments. All right, and just put some brackets on these things, bracket them off. All right, so it's gonna still complain because obviously in each of these we're returning something. Um, the first one is we're looking for an array of 
list diffable items. Now let's go ahead, we're gonna actually control that here. So I'm just gonna create a variable called data. All right, so, and then I'm just going to return that data as an array of at list diffables. So it's gonna, it's nothing, we have absolutely nothing in there right now. So this is just basically to get uh, this little red check mark off for now. But we're gonna work, I'm gonna explain this a little bit more once we actually get to it. Um, the empty view, so when we don't have data to display, what do we want, what view do we want to display? And right now, I'm, I'm not gonna worry about actually doing that. You can build a view here and then display it, but I'm just going to say, return no all right so it gets rid of those two warnings but we still have this warning and it's looking for a list section controller we don't have one yet so i'm just going to create one really fast so i'm going to say file new new file cocoa touch class next i'm going to name this our album preview section controller all right, and I'm just going to section, see IG list section controller. All right, I'm just going to create this. It's going to be just a blank file right now. And we'll work on getting it all set up later. Okay, so I know I'm going to need to import IG list kit here. I'm not gonna worry about doing anything here. Well, let me just get rid of this IG here. For some reason, um, they well they changed the the headers, the names of the classes. So you have to sometimes remove the IG on on these things. So I did that. And only thing I'm gonna do in this video, just to get a setup, is I'm just going to return this section controller. So I'm gonna pop back into our view controller. I'm gonna say return this section controller that we just created and we're actually going to go in and customize this but this is going to get everything to kind of set up and stop yelling at us and we're kind of running over on time so in our next video we're going to go ahead and set up our sales for our album preview section controller that's actually let me see if I can run All right, so this first section here is what we're going to work on um, in the next video. And then after that, we'll be able to do these other sections pretty quickly. Uh, we'll be creating a lot of custom cells and um, putting them all together to be displayed in this fashion. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. And if not, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe for any kind of notifications. And I will see you guys later. Bye.